For this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use a calculator to do basic matrix operations. Now before we could do any type of matrix operation, we must first know how to input the data into a matrix. So let's do that for a couple matrices that we'll need to do the examples. So first, we have matrix A, which is a 2 by 2 matrix with two rows and two columns. And the data inside of it is 7, 3, negative 1, and 5. Now in order to put that into a matrix, we have to go to the matrix feature on the calculator, which we could see is listed in blue lettering above the X inverse button. So to get there, we'll first hit second, and then X inverse, the tab we need in order to input data into a matrix is Edit. So we'll scroll over twice, and then we could just choose a matrix to put our data in. So let's just put it into A. So we'll hit Enter. Now the first thing we need to do is specify the dimensions of our matrix. Now just like the standard, the first number we put in is going to be the number of rows for our matrix, which is 2. And then the second number will be the number of columns, which is also 2. Now from here we put in the data for our matrix. So for example, the element in the first row and first column is 7. And the element in the first row and second column is 3. And then we put in the element for the second row first column, which is negative 1. And then finally the last element in the second row and second column, which is 5. So now that we've done that, we could just quit out of this feature. So now we have matrix A. So now if we ever want to recall that matrix, we could go back to our matrix feature by hitting second, X inverse, and now you may notice that under matrix A, under the names tab, we have a 2 by 2 matrix. Well that is the matrix we just created. So now when we pull it up and hit enter, it gives us the data within that matrix. 7, 3, negative 1, and 5. Now the notation that the calculator gives could be a little weird, but this first bracket indicates the start of a matrix, and then this very last bracket indicates the end of a matrix. Now the other brackets within them, for example, this one here and this one here, indicates the elements within the first row. And then these brackets indicate the elements in the second row. So it's pretty much set up the same way as our matrix over here, but the calculator just does it with a slightly different format. Now let's input data for one more matrix. So this time we have matrix B, which is also a 2 by 2 matrix, containing the data 0, negative 5, 2, and negative 8. So let's put that data into matrix B. So we'll go to second, X inverse, scroll over to the edit tab, and this time go to matrix B. Now again, we need to specify the dimensions, which matrix B for us has two rows and two columns. Now we need to put in the data. So we'll first do zero, then negative 5, then 2, and then negative 8. So now that we've done that, our matrix B is ready. So we could pull it up and see that we have that 2 by 2 matrix in there as well. And when we recall it, we could see that it's the same exact matrix that we have right here on the screen. So now let's get into some matrix operations. First, we'll start with addition. So here, 
we have this 2 by 2 matrix plus this other 2 by 2 matrix. Well, if you remember the two matrices that we just created, this first matrix is matrix A, and this second matrix is matrix B. So what we need to do is recall those two matrices and add them together. So what we'll do first is recall containing the data 7, 3, negative 1, and 5. And then we'll hit plus, just like with a normal math operation. And now we need to recall our matrix B. So we'll go back to the matrix feature and pull up our matrix B. Is the matrix containing the data 0, negative 5, 2, and negative 8. And now we just hit enter. And from that, we have a solution of this given 2 by 2 matrix, with the first row having the data 7 and negative 2, and the second row having 1 and negative 3, which is the same solution that you would get if you did this addition by hand. 7 plus 0 is 7, 3 plus a negative 5 is negative 2, negative 1 plus 2 is 1, and 5 plus a negative 8 is negative 3. So now that we've found that solution, let's go on and try subtraction. So this time, instead of doing our matrix A plus matrix B, we want to do matrix A minus matrix B. So we'll pull up our matrix A, and this time do minus, and then pull up our matrix B, and then hit enter. And from that, we could see that we get another 2 by 2 matrix as a solution. But this time, the first row contains the data 7 and 8, and the second row contains negative 3 and 13. Now that we've found that solution, let's try another operation. This time we have an example of scalar multiplication. So we have 2 times this matrix containing 7, 3, negative 1, and 5. Now for us, this is the matrix that we labeled as matrix A. So what we need to do is first put in our scalar of 2, and then we could just call up our matrix A. So now when we hit enter, the calculator will do 2 times matrix A, giving us the following solution, with our new data being 14, 6, negative 2, and 10. So now that we know how to do that, let's try one last example. Now we have matrix multiplication, where we take one matrix and multiply it by another. Now in this case, we have the data for our matrix A times matrix B. So all we need to do is recall those matrices and multiply them by each other. So we'll first take matrix A and then multiply it by matrix B. Now we don't necessarily have to put the multiplication sign between the two, because when you have two variables next to each other, the calculator will automatically assume multiplication. So now when we hit enter, we get the resulting 2 by 2 matrix that contains the data 6, negative 59, 10, and negative 35. And that's how you do basic matrix operations on your calculator.